Well, it's huge. I mean, to be exact, I mean, we have over 600 shafts on our walls from, you know, driver fairways, hybrids, irons and wedges. Shaft weight is huge. It is one of the first things that a fitter should be looking at um, throughout the session is to understand what type of shaft weight is going to fit that player best. Where is he coming from? And then how does he respond to that? So shaft fitting isn't always, hey, we're going to put you in something. We're going to have four. You have you hit four shafts that are all the same. You pick one. Sometimes it's about educating the player. And here's a shaft that go ahead and hit it. We're not going to tell you what it is. And then I'm going to give you something else. You give me some feedback. So we look for those anecdotal things during the session that a player is going to give to us to help us understand which direction we're going to go next. And it may be one of those things where this shaft's not right, but it proves the point of what is right. Right. I mean, our fitters, I mean, there's a lot of adjustability in product today. We have a lot of movable weights, being able to take them in and out of a product. Um, we can fine tune that swing weight quite a bit. I mean, in, in some drivers, we're able to, to move it eight to 10 swing weight points to, for that player's desired what works for them. Um, a lot of players are more sensitive to swing weight. Some are more sensitive to overall static weight. So we're going to look at those. We're going to try various things. But understanding that it's easy to add weight and take off weight in product so that player can now understand the difference in feel and how it performs for them in the bay. Well, I think, uh, you know, there's, uh, in, in the recent years when you look at drivers, right, they've all gotten longer, um, you know, in some of 46 and a half inches stock length, right? Um, lightweight shafts and the heads have gotten a little bit lighter and that's developed more club head speed for a particular player. Um, not necessarily meaning that's going to translate into ball speed. Um, the other way of it is, is I look at it as a wrecking ball. Sometimes the lighter wrecking ball that you swing it fast is not necessarily going to knock down that building and do as much damage. Sometimes it's that heavier wrecking ball that's swung at a slower speed um, is translating into more force and more ball speed for that particular player. Any fitter should be looking at ball speed. What, as we adjust swing weight, what is that doing to the golf ball? Um, is it translating into ball speed? And hopefully that's translating into better smash factors for the player, which is just to improve their overall consistency and the efficiency. They're getting better return on investment on how fast they're swinging it, and that translates into ball speed.